Get your tickets now at curling.ca. The ice is pebbled. The rocks are set. The teams are warm. We are ready to bring you live action here from Ottawa, Ontario in the RA Centre for the Women's Trials Direct Entry Event match between British Columbia's Corinne Brown and Alberta's Casey Scheidegger. My name is Andrew Denny. I'm a member of the communications team here with Curling Canada. And to my left is Brian Cochran, 2019 Senior World Champion and two-time Briar participant. Brian, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Uh, it's nice seeing you again. And uh, I know we've curled together uh, over the years and had some fun times at the Ottawa Club. And um, thanks for having me out here today. Uh, curling's great. The ice here at the RA Center is fabulous. And, uh, you know, it's kind of nice to see these uh, these teams out here, the, the pressure on the game. And we're about to start here. And uh, both teams have been playing well and look forward to a really good game. Indeed, as Olympic dreams hang in the balance for this Women's Trials Direct Entry event. Running right now. The stakes are high as uh, both of these teams are vying to clinch a spot in the Tim Hortons Olympic yeah, Trials in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. 14, 14, We're opening up the first end as Casey Scheidegger will have the hammer. Corin Brown's lead, Samantha Fisher. Slips to the back of the forefoot. No. And it looks like Casey Scheidegger is going to waste no time in putting the broom down for her lead. Christy Moore. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to have a pretty calm first end here. Good decision by the skips. Get their teammates into the game and make everybody feel comfortable with the, with the ice. Certainly not a bad idea to run down the center of the sheet with a couple of hits as uh, that path is often ignored in practice. As that rock will hit and roll out. That's always a good idea to uh, just throw a little extra weight in the first end down the center because it hasn't been used very much. Yeah, my whole, my whole broom was Corin Brown one and one thus far in the Women's Trials Direct Entry event. A round robin for the women and three spots available. It'll be a best of, win as many games as possible and you're through. There are playoff and tiebreaker scenarios predetermined. However, it's uh, still a bit early to speculate on how those might fall as we still have a 9 p.m. draw in this particular event. However, we do know that the only way that there would be no playoffs, which would be played on Sunday, is if three teams go three and one. That is certainly in the cards thus far as Laura Walker and Casey Scheidegger are both two and one. Kelsey Rock is one and one. Corin Brown also one and one record. And Suzanne Burt trails at 0 and two. Team Scheidegger now working the stone. As it'll come to the nose and sit in the top of the eight foot. Yeah, at this point, uh, the Brown team just hoping that they can they can get uh, maybe a hit and stick on the last rock in, in this end and maybe force the Shaw Dagger team to one. Yeah. Certainly looks like we're vying up for a blank, if not a potential force on a miss as Desiree Haas delivers her first here in the first end. We've seen the Corinne Brown team already on broadcast and they're exceptionally talented. Played a very tight game versus Suzanne Bird a few short days ago. As Haas makes no mistake and bops that stone on the nose. 11. These teams have faced off in the past. They're two and two versus each other lifetime with Brown winning the last two matchups at the 2021 Alberta Curling Series in Leduc. 2018 and 2016 being the latter portions of the matchups. One of which was at the Grand Slam of Curling Tier 2 Challenge and the other at the Curler's Corners Autumn Gold Classic. As that rock is struck and rolls to oh, just out of the house. Just out. Pace, was it a bit big? Certainly would have liked to have stuck around there for Casey Scheidegger. It's interesting that uh, the Brown team has won the last two matches uh, against Scheidegger and you know with Scheidegger having last rock here she's uh, I wouldn't call it control, but she's got the early decision as to when when she's going to make the first move to get points. So 
Indeed, certainly setting the pace. Coincidentally, Casey Scheidegger opened to this tournament with a loss and has since won two in a row. So certainly some momentum going for the Scheidegger rink. As Corin Brown's rink will draw two, fighting the top four. Certainly a routine first end here, Brian. Yep, I was just thinking, uh, I watched the Scheidegger team at the uh, Olympic trials in Ottawa a couple of years back, and they, it's just amazing. Their losses, the three losses that they had, they were in control of, of every game, and just little things happened during those games that uh, they let the, let the wind slip away, but they, they could have very easily been at the top in Ottawa. An exceptionally talented yeah. team representing the Lethbridge, Cur Lethbridge Curling Club. As Aaron Pincott from the Kamloops Curling Club and Team Corin Brown Please. delivers her first here in the first. And no mistake there as she'll make the open hit. Carrie Ann McTaggart now for Team Casey Scheidegger, settling into the hack. I agree with this strategy uh, in the sense that you know you get your teammates into the into the game and you get the early early nerves out with uh, sliding down the ice, letting the rock go. However, in this situation, they know the ice so well. They've been playing on it for a few days now. It, they get to practice on it before before the game, so. They know almost every every angle on the ice, and I, I think they should just go for it in the first end. Because really, in this situation, you're letting Scheidegger uh, control the first end and, and go for her two points in the second end. So from, from that perspective, the other team's already down uh, fewer ends to score points than Scheidegger. But. And we certainly know the importance of maintaining the hammer in the even ends. That being said, I do know it's hard to, it, it's difficult on the team to go hard for 10 straight ends. Indeed, a lot of precision required at uh, this caliber of play. Both these teams extremely talented. As that rock will just slip through the house. And you will see the ice keen up as they progress and play on the sheet. A little difference between those draw paths that are worked in in practice versus uh, some of the more inside or outside paths, especially in the first end. I can't tell if you can freeze to the uh, that yellow in the back of the house and still be sh on the rings or not, Andrew. Uh, I believe that rock is not on the rings, but it definitely could be frozen to. And based on Casey Sh Scheidegger's uh, broom placement, it looks like they're trying to go there. Put that, put that rock in play somehow. Well, guys, keep the angle. Yep. Yeah. Don't want to slip too far deep and uh, with the angle not being lined up perfectly, but still a great throw there. Now Corin Brown will come down the ice and she's going to mitigate that angle by throwing a right-handed out turn here. Some curlers do prefer a certain turn. What do you think about that, Brian? Oh, well, I, th I think most people have a preferred turn, something they just feel a little more comfortable with, a little straighter slide. Um, yeah, I, I, would, I would say most people have preferred. I'm not telling you which one mine is. But <laughs> not going to give away your secrets today on broadcast. No. As Corin Brown delivers her first. This rock seems to have found some curl. As it will angle into the rock on the outskirts. And there's our answer. Indeed. Got a nine eight. Now creating a biter for Casey got Scheidegger. A nine eight. Yeah. No more weight or ice. Yeah, more weight. No. Okay. No. They didn't sleep. Yeah, I think Corinne just got caught on uh, you know, a little extra pebble out there early in the game and that hasn't been worn down and uh, there wasn't much much weight on that rock as it got to the house. Over curled. Yeah, certainly a little bit of bad luck there. Wait, where is that? 
Because that rock would have left play if that uh, yellow stone had not been there to catch it. Like if I throw the same weight. So Casey Scheidegger now. Two feet. Yeah, you have to love this for Scheidegger's okay. team. They didn't, uh, no pressure end, and now they have a great chance at two. Can't, a little icing on the cake there. Can't ask for anything better than that. First draw down this uh, center path, however, but we've seen a couple of hits here, so the ice should be up to speed. As Scheidegger delivers her first here in the first end, looking to split the house. Running there. Okay, there it goes. Seems to be straddling center. It's going pretty hard. To your better, to your better. And you'll see these rocks, uh, when they find the break point, it will lose a lot of their momentum as they start traveling. Mine. And an excellent result. You guys scare me a little. <laughs> Certainly no. no double there. No, I think she'll just try to hit that. Maybe <laughs> roll out to the uh, edge a, an inch or two and try to get uh, Casey out in the in the heavier pebble and <laughs> hope for a break. Yeah, a slight roll to the wing would make uh, Casey Scheidegger's Hit a little more difficult, but uh, certainly routine for curlers of this caliber. And here's Corinne Brown with her final stone in the first. Clayton! Whoa, 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 off. Whoa, whoa, off. Clayton! Whoa, off! Little extra weight on this one. Eight, nine. As that will run a hair straighter and clip the outside and roll out. I think you're spot on with that appraisal and a little extra weight there, Brian. Yeah, I was saying earlier that the, the ice is really weight sensitive. You can make a lot of shots with uh, back line to hack weight, bumper at the most. Anything more than that, the rocks will run, will run pretty straight. And these are the same stones that were used in the 2021 Calgary Hub City bubble. And they've been resurfaced by Canada Curling Stone during the offseason, so they're brand new rocks in that sense. It's still very lively. Casey Scheidegger now with her final stone in the first, looking for two. Eight, nine. You can not curl the though. So she takes the path, the yeah. same path that she, like she did her like practice uh, shot in before the game. And that, like, you know, she feels really comfortable with that. Although she just made a draw to the wings, she you know she goes back to what she knows best here that she made that same shot three or four times. So easy score too. Indeed, as she covers the side of the pin for an early lead of two in the first end, yeah. capitalizing on that hammer opportunity. Yeah. So we'll go Ten ends here today. Yeah, and then play on the center. So plenty of curling yeah. left to come. Yeah. This is here. women's trials direct yeah. entry event yeah. from yeah. sheet D. Yeah, at the RA Center in Ottawa, Ontario. A reminder that if you want more information on this event, including scores, lineups, and draws, you can go to curling.ca slash scoreboard. And if you'd like that same information in French, you can go to curling.ca slash résultat. We'll look to the second now. Corin Brown will... Uh, Look to get on the board with Hammer here. Uh, seconds. I would say a second. Well, those. Yes, I'm expecting that Corinne will uh, <laughs> will throw yeah, up a couple of guards and, and try to get that that too, so. deuce back. Yeah. Yeah, with the five rock rule now in play, it's certainly uh, much more common to see. Higher scoring yeah. games. Top four? Yeah. Yeah, we're going in. This will be Christy Moore, lead for Team Casey Scheidegger, with her first in the second. Line is good. Looks hair like they're going to come into the house. Sweeping to maintain line on this okay, one. Top four, you're just gonna cross center. Good. As that rock will Had settle into it. the house, full four. Sweep. 
up goes the guard. Indeed, and uh, we've seen a lot of teams implement the double stack corner guard uh, in this event. And we'll see what uh, Corinne Brown chooses to do here after her first. Samantha Fisher delivering now. Line's good. Curling hard. Well, the benefit of the Three double stack curling. guard, I, I find, is, you know, it keeps one side of the ice open for you. You've got last rock. You, you don't want to be in a situation where you don't have a shot for at least one. I mean, play the end to score a multiple, but you, gotta, you have to save yourself a shot. Yeah, you certainly do not want to uh, find yourself in hot water with no draw to bail yourself out. Just going to throw a tight guard here. You don't want to throw a long guard here because a uh, long guard in this, a this case will just be uh, something that the Brown team would use. Okay. So nice easy. and tight. Easy. And certainly yeah. easy to get past if it's a long guard with the way this ice finishes. Line. One of the benefits Hyper. of using go, control we're weight. Not in, we're not in. As they'll sweep that rock to flush with the center line. But that rock's still mostly open. Just going to throw a little board weight shot, light board weight shot. Make sure you keep the shooter around. Yeah, sticking your shooter here. Of, uh, very important. They'd like to get the yellow one out, but it's not, it's not crucial. Could leave it at the back of the house. This one's going to wreck on the guard. Yeah, certainly will be off the front as it will bump the yellow rock. And if it goes out, it will go back. And it does as it kisses the side of the edge boards. It's it's a big break for the Shy Digger team. Most hey? well, certainly. That looks about right. As the guard is, is replaced. Is that close, Chris? And yeah, the team's yeah, conferring on the did. placement. Yeah. Of no matter, Casey, Casey Scheidegger will replace that guard yeah, nice with a better one. Wait, it's nice. This is their draw to button. It ran real good. This is Jesse Hoggian. Formerly Jesse Scheidegger. Two, with her first three. here in the second. I think it's better to put this guard right yeah. beside the other yellow guard. If you leave it, if you leave it a little on an angle and, and a little high, they can they can make an angle uh, run at that and get all three if they make a great shot. Yeah, the angles certainly are there for a triple, a, a lengthy one, albeit. That's 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 a nice placement for that guard, though. It's out it's out pretty far. Yeah, degree, d degree of difficulty to get all three would be exceptionally high, but uh, this this double peel certainly in the realm of possibilities. Yes! Hard! As Desiree Haas delivers Hard! her first. Really gotta go. Roll it down. Ooh, and that rock will just Oops. squeak by everything and leave the two yellows as well as the shooter in uh, in I traffic. It's, it's getting a little messy here for the Brown team. Indeed, and that uh, yellow stone in the forefoot looking better and better as each rock progresses. Two feet. Jesse Hoggian now with her second. Hit it early! Yep! Yep! Yep, hard! Old sweeper sweeping aggressively here. And good communication from the sweepers there, talking about where that rock was going to be placed, allowing Casey Scheidegger to make the line call that will be a, a good result. Just going to try to clean this mess up a little bit. Try to give herself a shot. Yeah, certainly more traffic down in the forefoot lines than you'd like to see with Hammer, if you're Corinne Brown. Yep, yep. 
As you'll see, Desiree Haas make that double. And we'll spill the front. It's a good result. Still, we're yeah. still going to have to chase for the rest yeah. of this end, though. Do you want the other way, or do you like this same one? Same. This is more ice. Yeah. Carrie Ann McTaggart now settling into the hack for Team Scheidegger. They're almost on the edge of the 12 for ice here, so it's... Uh, I get out in the okay, well, out there, guys, heavier open. pebble, it Line might uh, wider. be tough. Yeah, certainly uh, hey, a fresh path really and right lots for of some frost well, to be out there. Frost. Lots of rotation on this rock, keep it a little straighter. As they sweep to make this one curl. Okay, you're good. Good. It'll it's grab good. a good piece of the four foot line. Bit looks, of a port there, eh, Brian? Looks like there's a hole there. Yeah, she's looking at it. Yeah, and if you kind of wiggle through, that's fine. Yeah, I think that's the shot. Just go for the hole, and if you just tick Eight one of them, just wiggle through. Certainly won't have too many more opportunities to attack this rock in the forefoot, so strike while the iron is hot. This will be Aaron oh. Pincott with her first here in the second. I like it. Straight through the port and makes wow. contact. Nice shot. That's a fantastic throw. Well managed all the way down the sheet. Yeah. There wasn't a ton of room through there. Yeah. But they made that look easy. So Shy Digger here will just go for the hit and roll. Yeah, certainly room to roll back under the, the pair of guards. Whoa! Chris! Christy Moore on the sweep. Sweeping to make a curl. We'll settle for a nose hit. Shoot. Honey, just mi minute, minutes ago we were saying that the Brown team's going to have a hard time scoring one here. Now they, now a hit and roll here, and they, uh, the two's back in play. Ah, the ebbs and flows of curling. Isn't it beautiful? Depends what team you're on. That's a very good point, Brian. <laughs> I've been on the wrong end of that a few too many times. Never when I played with you, though. We always won. <laughs> this looks wide here. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, that'll hit and roll out. So an opportunity missed there. A little too heavy there, I think, to, to allow the rock, give the rock a chance to curl. Yeah, I'm thinking here should be pretty close. Yeah, yeah. around that. Yep. Does that look good to you? Yep. So back, back to the advantage, yeah. Digger. Yeah. Now she comes around, Same and though, both of her rocks are up front, so it's even uh, more of an advantage. And ample room on that outturn side for a right-handed thrower. All right. You could really, really bury one here and uh, use that short guard as great cover. Again, she knows yeah, the spot well because she threw this path for her uh, last shot That's draw from good. practice. Even what I threw here, hey. And made a very nice draw for two in the first on the same path. Could almost do this with her eyes closed. Almost. Almost. I'm not sure the coach would love to see that, but it would make for great TV here. As Casey Scheidegger delivers her first here in the second end. Lines good! A lot of rotation. Yeah! Lines good! Room! Yeah! Yes! Hard! Gotta go line! Gotta go line! Hard! Hard! Looks like they're shooting for line. A little light, I think. Yeah, a little bit. The sweepers work that all the way down. That's to the nice full eight foot. Line. That is a fantastic sweep there. <laughs> Christy Moore and Jesse Hoggian. Fantastic stuff. So Corin's going to go uh, wide in turn Get. and try to bury behind the uh, the guard. She'll probably try to come to the top four foot. Okay. Yeah, you can Get. definitely draw and out count that yellow stone. Bit of a wider path look. here, but 
Well, they've seen a couple of rocks down here now, so they, they probably feel pretty uh, confident with the, with the ice now. I, the ice looks pretty good out there. It's, you don't see any frost lines, maybe six inches in from the, from the sideboards, but other than that, it looks great. And big finish uh, in, the, in this sheet. So you'll see a lot, of, uh, a lot of throws will be going to the outsides and then warping back to the center. Close. Looks a bit heavy. Yeah, sweepers are brooms up right now. Just watching it. Waiting for that to hit the break point and slide in. As it will skate past the T-line. Carrie-Ann yeah, a little bit heavy. Sweeping that to bite the back 12. Wow, did that curl. Shot rock remains Shidegger. You know, Shidegger will come the same way. He in turn and try to just end up about full eight. Maybe touch the 12, oh, touch the four foot. Even if I come right back, that's not terrible. Yeah, you certainly don't want to slip too, too deep on this stone and uh, give Corinne Brown an out with an easy freeze. We're just going to try and go top four. They're back, they're biting, yeah, they're like half in the 12, or a quarter in the 12. We're just like. We're thinking 14-2. She just threw a 13-8. Okay. Keen's up that much. And you can sweep it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. As uh, Casey is talking to her front end, talking about split times hog to hog. And they seem to have found a consensus. It is hanging out there. Yeah, it's bit. well out there. Yep, you can go. Full eight. You got room. Chrissy's rock. Yep, full eight. Line's real good. She's going to for second shot. Come on, girls. Go. Oh, go, go, go. Full eight. Go, 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 go. Come on. Does that will become second shot? And it uh, looks like it'll be half exposed, if not more. That's good. Yeah, I don't think it got second shot. Andrew. No, you're right. They're tapping red, so... Uh, Allow me to speak too soon. Takes a little pressure off this shot, but uh, oh, there's still lots of room here. Oh, shouldn't say lots of room. There's still room here with a, a nice head turn draw to the forefoot. Really good here, yeah. yeah, the way the ice curls, uh, that, that wide Did red like guard that certainly kick? coming into play. Uh, yeah. You're going to have to be pretty thin past yeah. it just to ensure that you right maintain fourth. your path to the forefoot. Yeah, you just have to be careful. You don't straighten this too much here and uh, give it a chance to draw past that, that red, long red guard. Here we go. Final stone here in the second. Sweepers like it. Great Find shot. Port perfectly and nestle in there for a score of one. Yeah, nice shot. Corin Brown on the board in the second. One red. Score now two to one in favor of Casey Scheidegger out of the Lethbridge Curling Club over Corin Brown of the Kamloops Curling Club. A reminder that we will be broadcasting again at 5 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern here on youtube.com slash curling Canada. You can subscribe to our channel and receive live notifications for when the broadcasts go live. And if you hit that bell button underneath the video player, you can receive push notifications to your mobile device, tablet, or PC desktop. And with no fans here in the building, uh, the broadcast is about as good as it'll be. <laughs> But certainly, uh, Curling Canada planning to have fans for most of their season of Champions events. And uh, if you want more details on that and how you can get tickets to those events, you can go to curling.ca slash tickets. You know, I was just thinking uh, before I came in here for this afternoon's game that this is going to be the place to come and curl in Ottawa. Let's face it. 
Absolutely. You know, if they can keep the ice anywhere close to this, this condition, uh, the atmosphere and uh, people like curling in the arena ice, this is uh, definitely going to be the place to have events and, and just come and have some fun. Yeah, great investment in curling infrastructure for the Ottawa Valley. And uh, you'll see a lot of teams, Mine's even good. from Atlantic Canada and beyond, to travel here Running a bit. Running. for high-performance development. As this, uh, these facilities will remain now. this it's way after this now. event. This will be the permanent club setup here at the RA Centre. I know before the last briar here in Ottawa, we yeah. had, uh, well, Dave it's Merklinger okay. was doing the ice, and he let <laughs> us set up uh, a little eight game or eight team uh, game just to break in the ice. You and, like that? And uh, eight teams from just the local area came in, and they just loved to play on the ice. Just they, they thought it was a real thrill to come out and play on the ice, and the curl and the pebble was different. It just it was a real great experience. People uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah, if you've ever had the chance to play on arena ice, there's a palpable difference in how the game is played and how it feels. It's a lot of fun. As we get rolling here in the third, Casey Scheidegger will have the hammer. Line. And it looks like they're That's electing there. to draw into the house line after Corin Brown nice. placed a very tight center line guard. Nice shot. Yeah, Scheidegger, she decides to come into the house here. She's up 2-1. She has hammer. So she's going to she's gonna make uh, the Brown team decide how aggressive they want to get to, uh, you know, for the steal of one. Uh, Brown could put another guard up and she could come around, but uh, that would be very aggressive and, you know, Yep. With the chance that no, uh, Schadiger could score you know, two or three points, and then Close. the game would be over early. But Close. looks like we're just going to play cat and mouse here for go, a bit. Go, 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 and go, go, go. Uh, Brown will, will hope for a hit and roll out by the Schadiger team, and, and then she'll decide to yeah. come around. 9-9. Nine, nine. Indeed, certainly would be a high-risk strategy. As both teams are quite happy to play without too much traffic here in the third end. And she wants to hit and roll to the wings here. She doesn't want to hit and roll uh, underneath the guard here because that will just give something for the Brown team to, to freeze to. So Nice board weight here, something the sweepers can control. And this is Christy Moore here with her second in the third end. There's that board yep. weight you were talking about, Brian. Yep. 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 Hard. Clean, 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 clean. Real nice. Shot. Yeah, that rock will come right up to the nose and sit there. Ten. Nice controlled execution on that hit. So now uh, the Brown team will, you know, they're hoping for a hit and roll underneath the guard because that will force Shy Digger's hand to, to probably peel the guard and give the uh, Brown team a chance to steal one to tie it up. Whoa, Definitely going off, for the roll. Off. Desiree Haas with her first here in the third. Sit down, maybe. It will bump on the outside <laughs> and hang on to the fringe of the 12 foot. Wait, yeah, it was if fine. You, if it you get a little out. wide in this ice and, and your weight's any more than then a uh, firm bumper, it's going to hang out there for a long time. Yeah, well, some of those rocks, you just sit there hoping and watching, hoping they Daddy. find some, some bite and start to move. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Jesse yeah. Hoggian now. It's a nice shot. Yeah, inside out. With a hit to the wings and rolls back to Same full eight foot. Desiree Hawes now in the hack for Team Brown. Clean. Close, yep. Anything, 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 anything. Go, 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 go. Okay. As that rock is hit and flips back to the center ever so slightly. 10-1. I like that throw much better. 
Looks like we're getting a little bit of a rinse and repeat of the first end here. Yeah. Again, they'll try to hit and roll out to the wings. And a 10 end game uh, allows the teams to be patient, can really pick their spots when they want to be aggressive. Nice hit, yeah, and roll to the uh, ten eight. fringe. Just biting the 12 foot there. Yeah, really good weight. Aaron Pincott now. Cleet, whoa, whoa! Cleet, whoa! No. Whoa! Wait. As that rock will make contact. Yep. And yeah, stay in play. Just a nice Sorry. gradual hey. Yeah, the second was great. Yeah, really nice. Stuff. Your rate was good on both. Not to be left out is Carrie Ann McTaggart, who will repeat Definitely. with another hit. Definitely. Although the excitement level is a bit low at this point, the uh, the shot making is really good. They, they're throwing the rocks really, uh, really well, and you know, no hit, no hitting and rolling out. It's just uh, these shots way out here aren't uh, aren't that easy. Certainly, very sound fundamentals. I expect Close, nothing less yeah. in an event of this caliber where Olympic dreams Whoa. are hanging in the balance. Whoa. That rock is struck and will flip back, back to the center line here. ever so slightly. 11. Nice throw. As soon as you put the broom down, it straightened up. Carrie Ann McTaggart now with her second. Yeah. Contact with the outside, okay, and yeah. just barely roll out of the house. So there's the mistake that uh, the Brown team was hoping line. for, and now they now yeah. they get to come around that center guard. Sure. Just wasn't a great slide. Yeah. Certainly a, a great right. opportunity yeah. here for Corin Brown yeah. to bury one change. and uh, bring Compensate the deuce back into play. Healthy. Yeah, that's okay. Corin Brown is a two-time British Columbia champion, first time in 2020, change. and then after a suspended COVID season. Represented British Columbia at the 2021 Scottish Tournament of Hearts. Can't speak, can't where they went four and four and just missed the championship round. She's also a 2013 Canadian Junior Champion. Okay. She's taking the intern here, I'm guessing, because she just threw a great shot in the same path in the last end with a uh, four foot weight. So she feels really comfortable with weight on this, on this path. And she delivers her first. A little bit early for line. Mm -hmm. That light. Oh, I know. Line looks good. I missed it. Yeah. 14 7. Rock being well managed as it slides to the house. A little finish from Desiree Haas. Great, great shot. And we'll cover the pin. Yeah. Great shot there. It'll do. Yeah. No mistake from Corin right. Brown. Yeah. You like that? Yep. Whatever you like. So that'll be Casey Scheidegger with a couple of uh, questions <laughs> to answer in regards yeah, to what they want to do next, Brian. Well, Casey will just try to run this back and double she it off. Sort of has no choice at this point. Indeed, the freeze doesn't accomplish much. Mm. And uh, bumping that rock, you'll be rolling open. Let's make the double here. What was the time on that? Casey Scheidegger really is a two-time Scottish yeah. Tournament of Hearts competitor. She won the 2018 Alberta Championships and then uh, qualified for the 2019 Scotties via the wildcard slot. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Jeff! Whoa! Jeff! Whoa! Whoa, yeah! Yes! 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 
Hope they like it. Nice they make shot. contact. Go, 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 go. And spills it out of the house. What Great a run back. Fantastic. Yeah. So we had to go with the same. Thought we cooked it. Thought we cooked it. Curl. So did I. Very yeah, clutch uh, shot making there from yeah. Casey Scheidegger. <laughs> And her shooter rolled off the center line, so even if uh, Corn makes a great shot here, Casey would have a draw to the button for one, or she could run her back, her her shot back, one or the other. Yeah, about as good a result as you could ever ask for from that shot. And so the play will fall to Corin Brown. As she settles in for her final stone here in the third. Shoot, I missed that one. I got it. <laughs> You're the bomb. <laughs> Sweepers like it again, just dusting it nicely. Yeah, no panic in that sweep. Just uh, making sure that rock is in control the whole way. Here we see that late finish starting to come in as they're sweeping to help that rock over. And they'll draw just to the back four. Nice shot. Yeah. So Casey's got the button That's to draw to. Draw to the button. Yep. And we've seen her draw the button already in this match. And once again, this is the path that she's most familiar with. So it's good sitting in the hack knowing that, hey, I've been down this path only really been like six, seven five. times already here. In the past 45 minutes. Yeah, that familiarity certainly feels good when you're holding the rock. With this, the final stone here in the third. Look to be firm. Yeah, sweepers are brooms up the whole way. There it goes, but... A little heavy, I think. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, as that will right. skate through the forefoot, it'll be a steal of one for Corin Brown here in the third. And that'll tie our match at two to two. Sorry, oh, a little yeah. bit of an unfortunate yeah. misstep if you're Team Scheidegger. Yeah. But uh, great execution there from Corin Brown yeah. with two very, very good draws on her two stones. Yeah, the ice is uh, nice and fast here. You just have to lay it down there and let your sweepers, uh, give your sweepers a chance to put it where, where it needs to be. Sometimes you get in the hack there as a skip or whoever and you just a little extra adrenaline and it's amazing how far that rock can go. Can certainly instill a feeling of hopelessness when uh, you're watching your sweepers just walk next to a rock. Yeah, that's not a good feeling. No. Never anyway. happens, right? No, no. Anyway, Scheidegger still has his hammer playing the fourth, so not a big crime. No, you have to feel good about your chances. Corin Brown, uh, an exceptionally skilled team out of British Columbia. Certainly a, a bright shining light as far as women's curling goes in British Columbia. The likes of which we haven't seen since Kelly Scott. Yeah, I really like to watch her, uh, what I'm seeing here. The, the, both teams are playing well and it's, uh, they, they look really confident and a lot of positive stuff happening out there. Yeah, even just in watching them from the Scotties and uh, watching them here, it seems like they improve every time they're uh, out here competing. They're a hungry team and certainly ready to win. And Samantha Fisher gets us started here in the fourth with Mine's her first. Running a bit. Yeah, as that rock will settle into biting the top four. Shy Diggers had enough of being being patient. It's time to go. 
to throw up a couple guards here. And Two? Yeah, fourth end. We're now out of the early ends. Uh, figure it's time to start mixing it up. Everybody comfortable with speeds and paths? Halfway. Line's good. Yep. Two. Okay. Yep. Good two. Line's really nice. Line's nice. Oh, okay. Nice shot. Okay, Chris. Nice. With, uh, with the way the rocks curl with, with perfectly, perfect draw weight, you don't want the guard to be too high or else the other team can, can get at it. So, you know, just three or four feet out in front of the house is, uh, is lots, lots of room. Yeah, any further up, and uh, even if that rock is buried behind it, uh, it's still accessible with the uh, hack or bumper weight. Let it work! Aaron's close! So Team Corin Brown now. Can you, are you looking to work this rock in towards the center line. Tarps off, eh? Tarps off. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that'll That's just bite the 12 foot. I think it's in. Yes. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, Chris, 16 so four, a slight five. miscalculation there. Half, it's in. That was a real break <laughs> for the Shy Digger team. Yeah, they can hit off this and roll behind the cover. And either get a double stack guard or end up biting the front of the 12 foot. Clean. Whoa. Yeah, a little bit. Whoa, whoa. Yes. Whoa. Christy Moore with yes. her second. Yes. As that rock will come to the nose you go, you go, you go. and bump the existing rock off the forefoot. I like that. Yeah, neither, yeah, can, neither removed from play, but definitely a great shot. You've got Hammer, you've got two of their rocks behind the T-line. Hey? I, I call them your friends oh, back like in there. Yeah, they're great catchers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Line's Undeterred, close. though, Corin Brown Little will look to replace that stone that yep. was just removed from the forefoot. Line's good. Line's good. We don't leave. Aaron's close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Straight, straight, straight. Whoa, whoa. And another great shot here shaping up. Good spot. Good judge, you guys. As that rock will settle mostly in the forefoot. Four there. Just nine. Now, Scheidegger would like to run this straight back. This? Okay. Um, hitting it just maybe seven eighths and You're letting fine. the uh, yellow rock hit the one in the forefoot and then maybe roll out on, in front of the other one on the side. That's okay too. Then your shooter would roll a little off the center line. He's really curling. Whoa, 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 roll it, roll it. Go, 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 go. More, 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 more. That's good. Yeah, overcurled a little, but uh, rolled into a quality spot there uh, along the wing. Should I put this back? Corin Brown will replace yeah, the guard. She knew. I think maybe they played the last one. Uh, they should have aired on the other side, and then they could have hit this one in on the eight foot. But uh, maybe they did. I, I just didn't see the call. Hindsight always 2020. <laughs> As Desiree Haas delivers. Line's good. And sweepers are watching this one coast into place. I think they like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll settle in 12 foot. Maybe a smidge deeper than anticipated, but okay. certainly a useful stone. It's a little scary here now for the Brown team. If Scheidegger's team can uh, double this off and roll under the yellow guard, it'd be maybe s second shot. Adds a little extra pressure to, to the Brown team. Yeah, opportunity knocking here for the Scheidegger rink. Jesse Hagen. Her second, sweeping to make this one curl. As it will 
take out the one at the back as well. And the shooter will spill. Will it spin back? Okay. No. No, it will not. That was a hair bake. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Shoot. He even yeah, so Scheidegger uh, squandering a bit of an opportunity there. As Corinne Brown will be happy to replace that guard. Yes, as we get deeper into the end here. Scheidegger has to think about scoring one at least instead of uh, work. instead of hitting and rolling Let and trying to set up a two or a three. Now it's let's make sure we get our one. Hard to center, Des. Yeah, good skips always know when to revert to back to a different plan. He would be foolhardy to beat your head against that the wall way. in order to try and squeeze blood from a stone. He didn't quite cover that rock on the forefoot. No, definitely uh, and, and a good third exposed. Would have been better to be more on the other side. Hey, even if they just skinny this one, there's a little hey. red catcher here on the side. Hey. Yeah. yeah, thin off the top one, you would, you would get that hack in your double. Finishing, they're looking to roll it over. That'll settle behind the corner guard. Really nice. A little in between there. Would have been nicer, I think, to uh, stay in front of that red rock. Yeah, didn't quite have enough legs to get behind the uh, wall of yellow up front. This is shot. Good sweep. Thanks. Great sweep. Do you want to come look at it? As Aaron Pincott will come down the sheet now to have a look. Check out the angles. Oh. <laughs> it looks like them from here, but... What would you do in this situation, Brian? Well, they're just checking to see who shot. If, uh, if they feel that Scheidegger is shot, they'll, ha they'll have to play it. But if they feel they're, they're shot, they could come around wide in turn and go to the top forefoot and lay one and two. And it appears they, as though they believe that the Yellowstone is shot. Just, like this? They're just going to throw a little, little board weight shot here and... Uh, Maybe hit it on the nose. I don't think they want to roll into the forefoot and leave a crotch for Scheidegger. Just hitting this just off nose would be the best, I think. Aaron Pincott with her second. Clean! Oh, oh, Des! Sweeper's indicating this one had a little extra weight, and now sweeping to make Part a curl. Part of the yellow, Sam. Part of the yellow. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. So we'll catch it then. Go, Sam. Go, push it. Push it, Sam. Push it, push it, push it. And it wow. may have spun out. It's still in. Whoops. And uh, no, unfortunately, will not be removed from play. Still a biter. Are so really confirms flat. Casey Scheidegger. That doesn't do anything. And so the deuce is back on. That last shot by Aaron just shows you just a little extra weight and how straight the rocks will run. Yeah, weight control is certainly the name of the game. On Here she's yeah. trying to uh, hit this and roll yeah. to the back forefoot. Sweepers are working this one good. as it comes to the nose and stays right there. That's not what they wanted. <clears throat> this gives... Uh, Corn a chance to uh, hit a double and uh, sorry, stay in under those yellow, which will force Shydegger to probably there. come around the center. Or What's up? Lost ice? Sure. 
Indeed, Corin Brown can get out of trouble here with a well-placed hit and roll. Certainly enough room by those guards up front in order to play that intern side and cross the face. Ooh. I didn't like the roll under because we leave our huge pocket. Yeah. That's what I thought too. Nice 10. Corin Brown with her first here in the fourth. I got 10, 9, 7. Okay. No, so you were perfect. Again, this is a lot of weight. Yeah, certainly ran a little straighter and uh, finds the nose. So, I don't now I don't mind. Now I don't mind either. She has to make an, an And so the deuce is back on again. Yeah. Okay. 11. Okay, I like it. Maybe three. Maybe three. Yeah, well played shot here and uh, could be inaccessible and the three would certainly be on. Yeah, she hits and rolls under her own yellow guards here. I, I don't know. I think Corinne's going to be forced to come around to the center guard and try to steal one. Yeah, yeah certainly no uh, no great run back prospects in there amongst the pile. Eleven. Just it would depend. It'll depend uh, where where Casey's rock ends up here. She might leave a little uh, nest back in here for Corinne to freeze to. Casey Scheidegger with her first. A lot of weight on this one, too. Krista Moore sweeping to Pearl. No. Yeah, Rock will come to the nose. Is there air? So both teams struggling to get under those set of guards. I'm guessing Corinne will throw, will throw a little less weight this time. I think I heard her just say that. <laughs> it was real close. Yeah. Does it count as a guess then? Yeah, me too. I was ready to say whoa. Yeah. I think any kind of a roll here inside will uh, force Shy Digger to one. Certainly would be the case. As Corin Brown will look to remove this stone from play with her final stone here in the fifth, fourth. She just threw this path, so she knows. Just same path, just less weight. She's by the guard, skinny. Real nice. That's an excellent shot. I'd love to help you out. <laughs> Rolls underneath yeah, those I'm wide myself. corner guards. That was better waiting. Oh, and the broom will go down for the open draw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Thanks. That very same path that uh, she's been relying on all game with her eight stone. If she had to, she could throw a fancy out turn quiet shot and run that back for two maybe but early in this game just take your one and keep some kind of control yeah certainly no need to risk it early is this the final stone here in the fourth Sweepers are tending to this closely. Mine's great, right to T. Pull eight. 15-4, 15-4. And that will be good enough for a single here base. in the fourth for Casey Scheidegger. And they're, they say they're getting 15-4 from hog to hog, so that that's quick. quick. Fast. That is lightning quick. Great throw. Thanks. Not easy to draw under those conditions. Alas, Casey okay. Scheidegger making it look easy here in the fourth. The draw for a single. And that'll make the score three to two in favor of Scheidegger over Brown. Reminder that you can find more information about curling on curling.ca or via Curling Canada's social media channels, including Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All of those handles are at Curling Canada.
And you can read about every draw on curling.ca where there will be a feature story posted. So a one-point lead here for Casey Scheidegger. And if you're Corinne Brown going into the fifth, what do you, what do you think your plan is? Well, I think she's going to go for uh, for a multiple here. She's going to throw some guards up. And uh, they, I mean, they're playing really well. I mean, the last end, uh, they had a couple chances for hits and rolls, and they just threw a bit too much weight. But other than that, they, you know, they've been drawing nicely. They, I think they've got some... Good karma going. That I, I, if I were them, I'd, I'd yep. go for the for the multiple score. Um, Shy digger, I, I missed that call, Andrew. Whether to go in or out front, but uh, I believe they said they wanted to go in. But uh, they're my view obstructed by the uh, Brown team as of right now. Jet Sands ready to sweep for you. Line's good. The weight certainly looks like it'll be in the house. As Christy Moore delivers her first. On the other hand, Andrew, like some teams would say, okay, it's the fifth end. If we get a chance to blank this, we'll uh, we'll keep hammer in the sixth. So that, you Line know, really nice. presumably you'll score in the Good sixth, way. eighth, and tenth, and you'll out outscore them. And that's, I think, <laughs> uh, Scheidegger called that up front. So yep, yeah, I would be incorrect in that. She she wouldn't she want that scenario to happen. She wouldn't yeah. want them to blank this end. When she's on her meds. I should try to force to one or steal one. <clears throat> Indeed, as Corin Brown now indicating that she'd like to come Lights in behind good. that guard. Good room right now, running. Starting to go now. Kate, starting Samantha to go Fisher now. with her first. Just let it die, I think. And everybody throwing it pure. No sweeping required here in the fifth end. It's a good shot. <clears throat> I like that to be a, a foot or so uh, lighter than that. Just maybe just maybe just button. biting the There's forefoot. And so if I finally get close into that button, then they're too easier to tap back. And yeah, certainly a Easy line. tough shot to make with a guard that tight. Girl, Chris. Is that corner freeze is successful? What's happening? Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> and like you said, Brian, I think uh, I think they're both content to mix it up this end. Mm -hmm. Line's good. Roll then. No. This rock hanging a little. Samantha Fisher second. But it is coming back very gradually. So that rock will bump and roll off the face. So that's a break for Shy Digger's team. She can hit that red one now and roll on top. Ah. Yeah, just a couple feet too much, the difference on that shot. Jesse Hagian delivers her first. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. Whoa. Yep. Just looking for a little two-inch roll here. No roll. As they'll bump and roll a little too far. A little too far. I missed that spot like two times though. Still just a little bit buried. Oh. Yeah, you'd certainly rather roll there rather than uh, stuff it and be on the outside. Corinne mentioned that she might want to rep the guard, but she's going to play one in here, and uh, I think I she'll. Think I think she'll want to move this uh, yellow one back two or three inches and create some space what? in there this time. Yeah.
Looks pretty go good. They want to bump that a little bit. That's great. Yeah, Zet will settle into the pocket. As the rocks continuing to stack into the four foot and eight foot. A little bit of trouble here for the Shaw Dagger team. Yeah, as Corian McTaggart will come down to have a conference with. Casey Scheidegger, we'll listen in. We can get there going that same way we know too. Yeah. Do you like coming that way? Whatever. I want to leave that. Like, that should be good. Yeah. You can get it both ways. Yeah. Just trying to leave your rock in a position here. You're trying to think now three or four rocks down, down yeah, the road. Friend, as to what. That way looks better. What yeah. the opposition is going to do if you put the rock here. They're probably going to uh, clean it up a little bit. The Red Rocks are in good position for a multiple score. Wait, a little bit. It's Hoggy yep. with her second. Yep. Three. Yep. We need a four. Hard line. Hard. Three. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Looks a little light here. Yeah, over curling as well, thanks to that light weight. Fine. Just... And that will result in a double stack guard, just biting center. Or do you play like hack? So Corinne's trying to figure out a way she can come down and like touch line. that touch that top red rock and, uh, and open up those yellow rocks a bit more so she can get at them. We're gonna have to get rid of that at some point. What if you just not an not an easy shot. Yeah certainly a high degree of difficulty. As the broom goes down. Looks like they indico indicated a corner freeze. Well, I, I guess so from the ice that she's taking, a corner freeze, but she's going to have to figure out a way to get, get that yellow out that's on the top of the forefoot. That's why I thought her first call was good, that come down there with back line weight and just move them around a little bit, roll the shooter to the wings a bit. Mm -hmm. I think that would work. Certainly, it would certainly put some pressure on the Scheidegger team. Desiree Hawes with her second here in the fifth. Close, yep. Yes, line. Hi, line. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Hi. I think you want to sweep this. Hi. Go, go, go. Hi. Fisher and Pitt oh, got on the sweep just, just by. by the guard. Oh, we'll come to the face. And bump it's it just a, a smidge. It's a nice shot, but yeah. I, I don't know. I think they should have played out just another two or three feet at least and uh, got that yellow one off the forefoot. Yeah, certainly could have unlocked it. I mean, I just don't know how she gets to that top redman now to, to make the move. Unless you set it up for her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are, those are words you never say when you're on the sheet. Is that three okay? Yep. And so Carrie Ann McTaggart delivering her first. Rock taking its time before it finds the whoa, curl. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Let it go, let it go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. As that will come to the corner of the existing yellow stone in the forefoot. 
Well, not bad. I was just about to say that uh, it's a nervous time for the Shy Digger team because red nice. red is uh, shot and it's very difficult to get it out. But Do now with that. Yeah, that Yellowstone oh, is locked no, into the forefoot. Oh, no angle in or out at it. Yeah. Lots of rocks to come yet, though. I don't know, Andrew. I think if you just blast that right one. The, uh, yeah. that, that the yellow Yellowstone? One. Yeah, I don't think that Yellowstone goes underneath anymore. Yeah. It might even come back out the other way a little bit. Hit it seven, eight, high, high side. Yeah, I certainly don't see it moving left. Well, they've had enough. They want to clean the, the front off. What? And that task will fall to Aaron Pincott. As she makes her way to the hack. Do you want more? How does this look? It sounds like they're playing quiet, wait. I think they're peeling. Oh. Yeah, no, that's a peel. I thought I heard the word hack. Running it straight back, maybe. Yes. Confused me a little bit. Yes. I was going to say, how are you going to accomplish that with hack? And that'll peel the top guard. I think I like putting it back. Yeah. Do we want to put it back a little on your side? When in doubt, Why? put the rock back they where the other team doesn't on want it. <laughs> yep. Put it back a hair on Chris's side. Can be a real thorn in your side. Hey. I think I like putting it back. Yep. Like if I just nibble to center on this side, that's pretty good. So Carrie Ann McTaggart now with her second. Yeah, like that one's favorable for us, but that one is not. Hey. Guarding on what be, could be the fastest part of the right sheet. Here's great. Line's nice okay. there. You just don't oh. want this too deep. You don't want to oh. set it up for the opposition. Oh, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Sit. Yeah, sit, it has sit, to sit, stop. Sit. Not a bad result there. Sorry? Gives her a chance, gives the brown think? team a chance to uh, yeah. <laughs> angle double and run it back into their red ones. That's what they wanted the last time. We'll see if they uh, have the same thought. I think if we get, you can get that out to there. Sending this in, terrible. Oh, okay. Send it into here at least. Yeah. I don't hate that. Yeah, I think they're going to have to do this, this uh, angle peel and try to get that. With like hack? Huh? I think so, yeah, on the outturn side. Because if they ever get a chance to hit that red one on the eight foot. Okay, let's do that. That'll go back and, and I don't hate shot. clipping this on the way by. Yeah, a lot of caution in uh, how both teams are proceeding now. Can you tell who's third shot there, Andrew? From the monitor? No, I cannot, unfortunately. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say this all day right now. I think we have to try to jiggle something but, in uh, here. My record of being correct is uh, yeah. not great. Yeah. Yeah, I think they have to go for this. I mean, they they just made that that call in the last shot. I mean, they see their way out here. Yeah, certainly going to try and open up the front. Well, I hope she makes the shot because I want to see where all the rocks end up here. In the end. 
Erin Pincott with her final stone. Close. That'll come across, shoot the yellow into the Just house. Just a little too thin. Yeah, like you said, Brian, mm. just a hair on the thin side. They could throw the guard again. Or do we just guard right now? Right on cue. Or do we just guard right now? <laughs> if I just guard this, no. Yeah, you have to assume those two double stacked reds are the danger rocks for Shy yeah. Dagger right now. She opens this up right here. She could that was uh, your gut, Kate. give Brown a chance to score a couple. I don't mind this. Yeah, as it stands I'm right now, Brown's here. shocked. Shot okay. one. I think we freeze right there. And then this is tolerance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like chip this to here. And our shooters, like are you thinking to try to get a hair to the inside? Are you thinking if we get a hair to the inside, Chris? Okay. I think we can. Just like top. Yeah. I've always been a fan of when in doubt, lob one Top more in there, way. but yep. I don't know. Those reds are set up pretty well for Brown. I, I think I'd throw the guard here. That should be good, Hayes. Yep. Yeah, Great certainly uh, yeah. eliminating the, the chance no. I don't think so. okay. for Brown My to cash in that red, like red bump path. would be the the danger. Alas, Team Scheidegger comfortable to continue coming into the pile. And I agree with you on your philosophy, Brian. I think that uh, in a lot of situations is quite valuable. Here, as it has been. Well, we'll see if she uh, if she freezes in there. I don't think there's any doubt that Brown's going to smack those red ones and see see what everything uh, finishes up. Casey Scheidegger with her first. Clean. Yep. Clean. Yep. Yep. Yes, Lauren. Clean. Yep. Yes. Oh, oh, clean. Yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Zyrock will bump that red and then settle into the pile. And uh, that will leave Corin Brown an opportunity. There are a, a lot of yellow rocks. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And that bump certainly unlocked the redstone from that yellow stone in the forefoot. Like a 14 2 ish. 14, like back eight. Do you want to do back line? Let's do back line. I think Red wants to be shot here after yeah. this rock. I don't think back eight would do it. Yeah, you're uh, draw here at beginning certainly want to be sitting, sitting shot yeah. here. Fourteen-ish. And you want to leave your shooter, I think, on the nose here so everything lines up for your next shot. You, you don't want to stagger them that there's nothing left for you. Heavy draw. Well, we'll see. Heavy draw. Hmm. It's Corin Brown. I mean, I know she doesn't want to get rid of too much here in the sense of there are a lot of yellow rocks in there. No, no. No, 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 never. Certainly has heavy draw no, weight. No, not close. If not more. Hanging out pretty wide. Well, it's coming now. So that rock will make contact. Spill the red to the back of the button. 
shoot. And the yellow to the edge of the four. Sorry. That stack remains there in red stones for Corin Brown. Darn it. As it looks like she's now a second shot. Yeah, I think Shaw Digger's got her chances to throw up. Yeah, she might be able nice to. Nice firm takeout and uh, nose is really close yep. too, hit on the nose so. and double them out. Like yep. She'll yep. be lying, she'll be huh? lying three, I think. Then you have to think about, well, once I make that shot, if I hit it right on the nose, what am I going to leave her for a one? It's got to be the nose, I think. I think it'll run right Just off straight. nose. Yep. Run Probably straight. right around where the broom is, where you want to make contact. Yeah. And then uh, runs straight. running that red rock back into the second red rock, which is behind the T-line, you have to wonder if there's enough room for it to squeak out past the, the yellow stone in the forefoot. Presumably it slides under. But it may make contact on the way. And if you hit this low, the drag might might uh, push it back to the red one in the in the house. But it looks like uh, just hit it on the nose. You're, you're going to lose the two at the back. Casey Scheidegger now with her final stone in the fifth. Whoa. Just throwing some heat. Whoa. Make contact. Go, 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 go. Squibs the rock in the forefoot and spills it to the back of the eight. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Casey Scheidegger now sitting three. But that's good. That's okay. That was yeah. Or it's not, maybe not same weight then. Or do you think? And uh, no room to draw for yeah, a corner. Yeah, I guess. Ground. Yeah, I same think weight. if she would have hit that a little lower, the red, yeah. the red that's currently touching the center line would have gone the other way yeah. and stayed on top of the, uh, yeah, the yellow and this shot bit. wouldn't be here. This like looks like she can hit this with... Do you like the same weight? Well, I was going to cool say maybe thing? bumper weight, just hit it back, kiss off the same. yellow and s slide in for one. Yeah, spill in same for weight. your single. Yeah. Got to cross it a hair. And so Corin Brown will settle into the hack. I think just a hair more. Looking to play a bump, bump, in order to score a single here in the fifth. <laughs> Looks like about hack weight. Is this rock starting to curl? It is. So it will come up. And it will mm, slide Ooh. too far, I believe. There might be a steal of one here for I Casey Scheidegger. Right. One yeah, yellow. Most certainly. So that will extend Casey oh, Scheidegger's lead to 4 2 Aaron. after the fifth end. We'll take a break, as the players will too, and we will return Sorry, shortly after this message. tickets now at curling.ca.
Break out the popcorn. We are back here live from the RA Center in Ottawa, Ontario for this Women's Trials Direct Entry Event matchup between Corinne Brown of British Columbia and Alberta's Casey Scheidegger. Welcome you fans back here on Curling Canada's YouTube page. Curling Canada YouTube is where you'll find the remaining broadcasts of this event and all other events. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button or the bell notification to receive live push notifications to your tablet, mobile device, or desktop PC. Four to two, Casey Scheidegger leads this match versus Corin Brown as we begin the sixth. And our mathematicians here at uh, Curling Canada headquarters have done the math and uh, can confirm that should Casey Scheidegger win this Let match, work, she would lock up. An Olympic trials berth. You just want to peel. It'll be the Tim Hortons Olympic trials in Saskatoon, peel. Saskatchewan. Line's good. So uh, a lot to play for here numbers. in this That's match okay. yet. As we see the end's infrastructure begin to take shape. Corin Brown throwing a corner guard with uh, Casey Scheidegger throwing a center guard. This is Christine Moore. Line's really good. Yep. Keep going. No, go, go, go. Don't curl it. No, straight. Forward. Looking to come around. Forward. As that rock will nestle into good. the 12 foot. Samantha Fisher now with uh, her second stone of the end. As action continues here in the sixth. Five teams vying for three spots at the Tim Hortons Olympic Trials in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Attempting to qualify through this event. Three spots available. And as we said before, Casey Scheidegger can lock up a spot with a victory over Corinne Brown here. This is... Casey's fourth game. Yeah. And uh, in a five team round robin, you play four matches. Yeah. And there are a litany of tiebreaker situations, but uh, too early to count those chickens as they have yet to hatch. Much discussion now on the Corin Brown team. Trying to decipher where they would like to place this next rock. If you're just tuning in, it is four to two in favor of Casey Scheidegger over Corin Brown. My name is Andrew Denny, and a member of the Curling Canada Communications team, and I'm joined here on my left by the venerable Brian Cochran. Brian, a wealth of knowledge in curling, a 2019 World Senior Mixed Champion, and a two-time Briar participant for both Ontario and Prince Edward Island. Thanks, Andrew. Does, does venerable mean old, by the way? Venerable is more of a, really uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're well known because of your accolades. Oh. And just, be, you know, maybe because you've been around a little bit longer than me. But okay, it's certainly, certainly not a dig at you, Mr. Cox. Okay, good. I'll go for that. So here we have the sixth end here. Uh, Scheidegger's back in control. Uh, she can uh, she can just play it, play it open as much as possible and... And the Brown team has to uh, has to push things a little bit, take some chances to go uh, to get back in this game. Uh, quality hit and roll there for Team Scheidegger. And that will force Corin Brown to uh, make a move towards the center with Desiree Haas delivery. As that hit catches quite a bit of the face and removes one stone from play. Yeah, I, I, I was very confused with what you said because I think it just meant other turn. It would, it would always roll the stick into the guard. It would never roll on her. Yeah. Jesse Hagen, no? Yeah.
Tyrock will come to the nose and pose as a center guard. I think Corinne has to make a decision here. She's got a couple options. She could come around to the center, which she's indicated. She could throw a wide out turn, a little uh, back line weight shot. Touch that yellow back and roll underneath. But she's chosen to go for the uh, draw to the center, which they've been very good at today. A lot of strong draws here from both teams as we continue in the sixth end. Scheidegger's not too worried here because even if they do make a great shot, which they have here, the uh, the uh, guard out front is yellow, which is Scheidegger's rock, so she can just bang that back into the middle. And do you like that or do you want to run? Okay. <laughs> and right on cue. Uh, yeah. Or do you think we need a 10? Nope, that's you. That's the wisdom of Brian Cochran, ladies and gentlemen. You know, they don't give away uh, world championships these days. you got to earn them. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, <laughs> no, that wasn't, uh, it wasn't as easy as I would have liked, but it was fun. As this Rockets ran back nose to nose, what a dandy. Beautiful shot and, there. And that's the risk that, that Brown had to take, you know, with... Uh, being line. down too, she drove her, she uh, she drew around that one, but line. now now there's trouble. Yeah, it looks like there's something cooking in the kitchen here for Casey Scheidegger. Again, the score is only four two, so Brown should be thinking that she wants to at least score one here. Yep, Brown with hammer here in the sixth as Aaron Pincott delivers. This rock's a bit heavy, I think, Andrew. Yeah, it's hanging out there a little bit as as uh, consistent with a rock that is a few feet too heavy and seems to stop in that spot. And come all the way back that it's only third shot now, so now Scheidegger can uh, really put some pressure on here. Throw another another guard on top of the I center one. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. We ever did that? Yeah, she's got a saver, so I'm not sure what she's gonna do. Do you like just this? Or tucked around? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That certainly would cut off the uh, accessible point that to that rock on the button. Okay, what do we like? Good team talk there. Because uh, I'm not sure Casey realized that the, it was there and it was open on the out turn, and uh, you can see it. It is with a nice little back line weight, back eight shot, even back four. You could tap it. So. As the discussion between Casey Schreidegger and Caroline McTaggart concludes, they have reached a consensus. And now it'll be up to them to manage where this rock stops. Yeah, they're going to cut off this yeah. out turn access. Yeah. Is that way better? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I suppose not. Interesting. Yeah, I was with you, Brian. I thought uh, eliminating that outturn side uh, may have been favorable. However, if they make the shot, you know, they come in on top or top eight, corner buried, Brown's still in huge trouble. Because that outturn, that outturn top is no picnic. Certainly not, as uh, McTaggart delivers. This looks like a lot of weight here. And a lot of rotation, too. No, 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 no. 
And that stone okay. is hanging. It will slip yep, to, to the back of the house okay, and on. nestle up on the corner of that red stone. Not a break for the Brown team. Good try. Yeah, most certainly. And a uh, real opportunity there that uh, Casey Scheidegger could have applied extra pressure. I did, because I felt like it was, I was okay. going down. In like a lion, out like a lamb. Yeah. I'm a little surprised they're not coming out turn here because it is open a little bit on the out turn. But just maybe they like the intern. They know the intern a bit better. Close! Aaron Pincott now with. Wait, no, wait, only! Room! No! Is it deep? Yep, yep, yep! Hard! Yeah, a couple rocks just slipping too deep on this path. That is the draw path that uh, we've seen consistent uh, most of the game. So it could just be a little extra worn in at this well, point. The, you know, the sixth end, you know, in arena ice, uh, so many times it's, it's that much quicker. Yeah, they run the mops up and down uh, in the intermission. And I always had my team remind me, remind each other, it's faster in the sixth end, yep. it's faster in the sixth end. Keep yep. telling ourselves that. Happens frequently. Famously by uh, Team Glenn Howard's social media account. We'll often tweet uh, to Scott Howard when he was playing lead that it's faster in the sixth end. <laughs> and uh, of course, Scott could not read it because he was on the ice. There'll be a timeout called here on sheet D. Team Scheidegger want to mull this over and uh, really consider their options. We'll bring in the audio here of the discussion. she can get that out is this one. one or the run she can get it out with the run and count one right now so do we just double guard so what are you thinking yeah. this just That's cross it a hair oh, I like that. right here do you still like this turn okay okay let's save a little time and throw on okay. this time out yeah sorry i'm just no it's okay so now they've decided okay. to uh yeah, Cover up that center. little out yeah. turn hole. It's still going to give the ground team a chance to come in and uh, angle freeze the one on the on the pot, and uh, and then they'll have some kind of crazy shot to uh, to maybe uh, okay. jam it back and maybe even score He's two. Right up here. Certainly not outside okay. the realm of possibilities here. Carrie Ann McTaggart delivers. Oh no, that's Casey Scheidegger. My apologies. To my room! Where? Okay, whoa, whoa! whoa. Over curling! Over curling! Whoa! Whoa! You can't, you can't, you can't. Okay, you can't. Well, that rock's going to do the job. Yeah. Yeah, cover up the outturn side. Yeah, shoot. Sorry. No, that's okay. And so, Brian, you were she talking about right. the corner freeze in this situation. Yeah, well, you, she could corner freeze or she could run this back. I mean, running it back is good. It's She knows the line. And, uh, um, again, she's a, a she wants to give her, herself a chance to score one. Yep. Well, certainly free up some real estate yeah, here if she can successfully make this run back. If she put the corner freeze on, uh, then she would have to make a run back and hit the frozen rock uh, for her too, but it would give her a chance for two. This is probably a little smarter and safer. Corin Brown with her first. Yeah. 
Close. Runs it back, catches the edge. A very nice run back there from Corinne Brown. And so just like that, Brown has now shot one in the back of the eight foot. <laughs> Got to feel like a confidence booster after a shot like that, eh, Brian? Oh yeah, it's, uh, she was in big trouble there and there were a few misses here, early or uh, middle end here and uh, could have could have been a whole lot worse at this point. Yeah. Yep. Shy got a good chance to freeze back into this one in the back eight. They've seen this line here about five times this end already, so. Yeah, well placed stone would certainly ensure a force. It has been quick though. She have to be careful not to throw too much weight here. Looks good. Oh, you! Oh, yeah. good. Oh, good. Oh. Are we back? Make it good. Okay, well, lead. No, no, Carl, Chris, no! No, do not finish it. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. And no, trying to maintain no. that angle as it's okay. swept to the T line. Well, interesting. They could have frozen that back in here and, and forced Brown to uh, draw for one, but now they've given her a chance no. for two. She throws the no, same I mean, shot. Uh, not easy, but does give her a chance for two. Yeah, the option to be sweep that rock all the way back to dead frozen and guarantee a force. And keep control. Yep. Instead, now a short run back for two, potentially on the menu here. That's in a, the sixth. That, that's a front end guy talking. Short run back. <laughs> that's not a short run back. <laughs> <laughs> I play lead for a reason, but. <laughs> They don't throw runbacks. They're all short to me. Yeah. Corin Brown now in the sixth with their final. I think they like it. So even to keep it straight. Nope, just off. Just well, over curled. Slightly over curled past the nose. And that will be a steal of one for Casey Scheidegger here in the sixth. Oh, they weren't sweeping that one early. I think, I think they liked it. Uh, it certainly was looking good until it wasn't. One of those shots that just sort of jumps across the face on you. That'll make the score five to two. As Corin Brown will retain Hammer, moving into the seventh end. We thank you once again for tuning in here on Curling Canada's YouTube page as we bring you action live from the RA Centre in Ottawa of the Women's Trials Direct Entry event. Five women's teams vying for three spots at the Tim Hortons Olympic Trials in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Brian, we've already confirmed uh, with, our, with our analytics department that if Casey Scheidegger wins this match here against... Corin Brown, she is in. She is qualified. Nice. So certainly a lot to play for here yet. And a very comfortable 5-2 to two lead here for Casey Scheidegger as we progress to the 7th. Now they're looking good. A strong team. They've they've played pretty well this game and uh, they, look, they look confident. And Certainly a team that has learned from their experiences in uh, the 2017 Olympic Trials as well as uh, several Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Christy Moore delivering now. Yeah, you're still in the good. There it goes. Now it's really going. Clean it in. Good girl. Good. And that rock will comfortably slide to the top <laughs> of the button. <laughs> no, no question about strategy now. Brown's aggressive and <laughs> Scheidegger will be, will be defensive. Indeed, looking to protect that three-point lead. Maybe I can throw a guard with the four. Maybe I can throw a guard with the four and it'll be where it's supposed to but be. But I sit for line. Thing with the five rock rule, you can start planning to be defensive, but it can line's get a little, okay. little scary at times. 
Indeed, the five rack rule definitely bringing a little more scoring into the fray. There's Christy Moore out of the hat quickly, looking to preserve some time. A little, little surprise here. She's calling a guard. Hey. I think uh, I think Corinne will ignore this and uh, just come fine. around it. I think a lot of teams would now. normally throw this okay. right into the house. Yep. 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 Yeah, the freeze on top certainly whoa, 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 whoa. an appealing option. Well, the lead ignored the uh, skips okay, call. <laughs> yep. Right in the house anyway. Never done that before, right, Brian? <laughs> Maybe that was an audible by the other three in the team. Certainly an excellent result uh, if you're trying to draw that rock in. Line's good. Now double stacked. Yeah. 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 Starting to go. Starting to go. Now Scheidegger will throw the tight guard, and Brown team will have to chase. And Brown electing to not throw a double stack guard, instead splitting the guards between the two sides. I suppose with that uh, first stone on the right hand part of your screen being a little higher, it makes it more difficult to double stack a, a guard more effectively. Three. As Jesse Hagian will deliver. And you see they're looking for that okay. tight number three guard this time. Even if it's in, that's fine. Okay. You got more line than Chris. Yeah, yep. This rock needs to work go, its way go, over. Go. It is hanging out there. Go, go. Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not too far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And it'll bump the pile and spill off to the left. A little unfortunate there. It sets up a, a pretty easy double and roll now. So. Ken? Yeah, a great opportunity here for Corinne Brown to... Remove some yellow and tuck a, tuck a potential counter behind that corner guard. Yeah, Corinne's pretty happy about this because she gets to hit some and keep her rocks in play. So, yep. Indeed, as Desiree Haas delivers. He's, this, is yep. how, this is how threes yep. are developed. Yep. Hard. You mean the stork doesn't right, bring them? <laughs> that rock will good, hit on the nose, lose one yeah. yellow, and spill the other yellow to the far... 12 foot. 11. See if you're Casey Scheidegger right now, like you know, you've got the lead, Little but bit. this end, this Whoa. end, you're you're nervous because Whoa. there are two corner guards. There's a yellow one yeah. a, way back yeah. in the behind the T line. That rock will bump on the nose and flip back to center. You're right, Brian. Uh, one little misstep on a on a guard that slips into the house, and all of a sudden it's uh, a little more panic yeah. for Team Scheidegger. And here we go. So Corinne's going to uh, come around one of her guards, and then uh, Scheidegger will appeal, and Corinne will try to hit and roll behind the other guard. Yeah, it looks like it's on in this end. Room! Room! The seventh shaping Rim! up to be a real good one. Room all day. And Corin Brown looking to bring that corner guard into okay, play. Yeah, you gotta finish for line, Aaron. Yeah, you gotta finish for line. You gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. As Aaron go, Pincott is sweeping to bring this deep. Don't think that got buried. I think it's half open. Yeah, certainly enough there to make a play at it. Especially from the right-handed hack. You can probably do that with 11. Mm -hmm. You don't need okay. to stick. Do you want to just peel? Okay. Do you know his top that to kind of get a little pocket? Oh, they've decided to peel it out. Certainly a safer call. But it uh, feels like you can kind of uh, broom, broom tight for the target rock in the back. And if you end up with the peel, you end up with the peel. Yeah. Oh, this is going to give... Uh, the Brown team a chance to go around the other corner guard. Yep! Yep! Hard! 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 Shoot it! As that peel <laughs> is made. And spills the shooter out. No, she's going to decide to uh, 
guard that one in the in the house. Well, this is the same as Interesting. Uh, Do you want more? Especially considering it's a free free chance to bring that other corner guard into play and sit potentially third shot or even second shot. Well, just as long as you keep your two going here, you're, you're, you're fine. Tight. Got to sit the line. Indeed, Brian Cochran bringing his experience oh, and knowledge good. into the booth this Let afternoon. Sit. Let's sit. It's a nice shot. As that will curl up and settle. Just outside of the house. 16 I don't think they're going to go for the run back here. I think they're just going to peel this off. Let's peel it off. And that is confirmed there. Just the peel. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or Casey Ann McTaggart. Uh, this will be thin okay. Okay. and crashes off their own stone in the eight foot. No, they weren't looking. They weren't looking for that. So now, uh, now she'll use the other guard, yes. and uh, all of a sudden three's in play. Yeah, now a lot more breathing room to tuck that out turn draw in there and bring that corner guard into play. Yeah. Aaron Pincott now. Karen was a little heavy on her uh, draws last end. I don't know. 14 pair. Yeah, Sweeper's confirming a 14 second hog to hog, which would be heavy. As that rock Ooh. will slip through the rings. Well, that's unfortunate. They had a pretty good end going here. And a golden opportunity the slips like through the fingertips. The the team Corin Brown. Yeah. Fine, I, think. I think either double. Because it just keeps them away from the corner. Well, right and now. if she makes this double, she's going to jam there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, no. Okay. 11. Yeah. So now, Team Casey Scheidegger discussing where the best spot to leave their shooter on this shot. And they seem they've uh, come to an, a, a final idea of hitting it on the nose. Just know that. You certainly wouldn't want to roll to the center and leave up some kind of crotch that uh, awesome. Corinne could, could freeze yeah. to, so. On the nose, maybe uh, roll an inch out to the wings. Here, if we roll half a rock, that's pretty good. To your way? Yep. Yep. Yeah, she opened the ice up. Should be good. Okay. Yeah, she's decided like rolling inside's a bit better because uh, Corinne could come around that guard again and uh, be second shot or hit and roll under and be second shot. So. Trying to, trying to take that option away. Queen! 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 Close! Whoa! Whoa! Yes! 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 Whoa! 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 There's it's that crotch they didn't want to yeah, set up. No, that's okay. <laughs> that was the risk of trying to be a little too fancy and rolling in that way. Yeah, they ended up rolling uh, about a rock and a half worth. And that will open up an opportunity once again for Corin Brown to nestle into the pocket. Yeah, we can't afford a big. Looks comfy in there. Just let her know. Certainly a great way to generate a deuce here in the seventh. Yeah, you can freeze right in the crotch or just freeze on the uh, on the one on the outside of the forefoot, just inside freeze. Just can't bump it and create a hole for Schreidegger to blast it through. Line looks great. 
Yeah, no urgency in the sweep here as uh, attending to this rock as it settles down. And Wills. Oh. Just bumped both bumped stones a little a bit. Too much. Yeah, it may have opened up a hole there for Casey Scheidegger to shoot that rock through. It's it looks better on the monitor yes, than it does, it does live, to be completely Pretty honest. It's close, but yeah, a little. Uh, it looks like you can pick it. It almost looks like you can pick it. And a three quarter on the yeah. center line side might get it to go. I mean, if, I'm, if you catch this one, you just kill them both <laughs> and you sit here. We can. It's thin. There. It's half a rock. And it comes back first, so it comes back a half an inch first. So. Can we pick that? I think she'll blast it through here. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think a quarter to half. Yeah, I think half. The gap is there. Yeah. Half. You think a hair more? Never in doubt. Be It'll That's be straight. True. So the brooms go down. As Casey Scheidegger will make her way to the hack. Looking to eliminate that single red stone there. And then that'll put the pressure back on Corin Brown to take a single somehow. Huh? Scheidegger with her final stone here in the seventh. I think just off nose does the trick here and then you can keep your shooter, but she doesn't care about that right now. It early. Well, that will squib through and jam on the end, but uh, no harm there. And she removes the redstone from play, so mission accomplished for Casey Scheidegger. It was really unfortunate. Uh, Corinne threw a nice draw down there and just swept it a little bit. Just one inch less, and it would have been perfect. Yep, would have shot it straight through. And so yeah. Corin Brown is uh, prospected with a blank here, an yeah, open hit right and roll. That one would stick. And that will allow her to keep Hammer in eighth. Yeah. Final stone in seventh. Nice shot. Agreed. And that'll be... The ice looks great out there, too. It's uh, no frost issues here at all. Yeah, frost certainly played a role in the first two days when uh, Ottawa experienced about 50 or 55 millimeters of rain in less than two days. Instead, it is pristine out here on sheet D for Women's Trials Direct Entry Event Action. So the Brown team still has to be encouraged that they can get back in this. They had a chance for a two there and, and possibly a three. Uh, unfortunately, just missed one key shot. And uh, so they just do the same thing this end and try, to, and try to get a two and give up one and take two or three in the tenth. Indeed, this game far from over with three ends left to play inclusively. A score of five to two. Casey Scheidegger leads Corin Brown. Brown with hammer in the eighth. And we'll be looking to strike. Be, be quick on the hack, but take the time you need. So same approach, top four, and then top eight, and then short guard. I like it. Line's good. Top four. Brian brought his crystal ball here to the booth this evening. Hanging a bit. There it goes. Just curling nice. It's easy. Easy in. Yeah, that is beautifully Good. executed. Nice shot. Certainly, as far as lead, lead stones go, uh, Christy Moore having a wonderful game. And so Samantha Fisher now for Team Corin Brown to go. will deliver her first. Jeez, the ice looks <laughs> fast. That is quick. I just floated yep. in there over the hog line. It's amazing. 
a very tight corner guard being the result of that throw. It's a hairless. Not much. Right to it. Certainly Great ice it. that uh, you can bring your sweepers into play on. No tap, just above it. Okay. Line's good. Unless it hangs. Line's really good for a freeze. Hanging a bit. Yeah, we're a little just heavier. Well, it is now that it didn't curl. Okay, Chris. Okay, that's okay. No. And that shot will bump off the existing okay. stone in the forefoot. Not perfect, but not horrible either. I mean, uh, Ran a little smoother. Corinne's going to throw up another guard. And yeah, Corinne now choosing to employ the double stacked corner guards. Just over. Line's good, just over. Over and off. Yeah, you don't need to go. Those stones are very difficult to throw, too, as well. Uh, very easy to pull the string when you're throwing and end up hogging those. Really tight, even top 12. If you're just trying to throw it over the hog line there, you just have to make sure, like on ice like this, you have to make sure you don't dead handle the rock. You just throw a little rotation and keep it going in the right direction. Once it picks and goes sideways, doesn't have much of a chance. Are we as much as you? So you'll hear the sweepers communicating uh, where they think that rock is going to stop via number system, four being top 12. Good. As that will nestle into the pile. Hey, just show like back line, just kind of go on the nose of this and just shuffle these. Back so the line. task falls to Corin Brown to change the angles and perhaps bump some yellow behind the T line. Yeah, I thought Shadigger might just throw a real tight guard Guards there instead. This, uh, to me, this gives me Brown team a chance. As she said, she's going to jiggle them around and try to try to push them back in behind the T line so she can use them for herself later. And I don't know, it seems Please. to cause more Running. more grief for the Shy Digger team than, I think if you throw the guard there, then Brown Kate. has to come after you and Rita's clear something roll. up. Whoa, then. Whoa, whoa, no roll, no roll. The stone will kiss off the front hard, and spill. Hard. It's not terrible, Keep going hard, hard. And it's Casey mm -hmm. Shy Digger. <laughs> Sweeping okay. to try and remove that from, from play and successfully does. 12 6. So, oh, it's out. Sorry, wow, remove it from the house, not from play. Remove it from the scoring area. And so, it'll be a free peel now for Team Shivedagger. Jesse Hoggy and throwing. And yes, a little bit. Very smooth release. An excellent peel. Nice. Really okay. great command of that uh, up weight Friday. shot. Pretty sure. It's out. <laughs> so now Brown's just going to freeze into this pocket, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and then Shy Digger will have to uh, start smacking stuff around and try to open things up again. Because that's a nasty looking pocket there. It's Couldn't get it out with the backhoe, as one of my friends used to say. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hard on the roll, Sam. Hard on the roll, Sam. Hard on the roll. Gotta go. Yeah, this rock's hanging Gotta a little go. bit Gotta as it go. kisses off the go, outside, go, go. looking to roll behind that corner guard. Oh. Certainly will. It's an option. Keep pulling, wait. Definitely a very nice uh, result. I gotta make something out of it. The Brown team has just been a little heavy here in the last couple ends. Which one? The side one? There's yep. Ann McTaggart clean. with her first. Yep. Clean, 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 clean. Atta girl care. Really nice throw. And it's over top of the pile. Chosen to throw another guard and they have here. The same amount of time. And they have the same amount of time. Might have been tempted to nestle one in there to those yellow ones, just tap that, that front yellow one back a little bit and create another pocket. Really? Because when you're doing this, 
you Jesse always have to think, Am I, are there enough rocks left in this end to get those three rocks out? And you have to anticipate, you know, what's, what's oh, the opposition going to do? You read my mind as I was about to ask you, when's the right time to strike for Team Corinne Brown, who uh, certainly have a house that they can work with here in this eighth end? And, and also, because the yellow right now are not set up great for Brown. She needs to kind of touch them back a little bit to set up the pocket. That rock is peeled. Like she almost needs two shots to do it. Or, what do you think of this? I guess she has two to make a double there. now and and uh, ten and hope to get another double uh, later. Good throws. Hey. Uh, certainly a jam potential on that red in the uh, edge of the eight foot. Should she hit this too thin? So a little bit of risk here for Aaron Pincott, trying to make something work. Whoa. She'll hit that flush and bump that Yellowstone. Nice. And sits postured up to the Yellowstone on the tee line. There's doubled out there. Yeah. Or do you want to do this? No. Think so. It looks like Casey's going to elect to ignore that stone and play a control game and eliminate that potential second or third counter there. Yeah. I mean, this nuts here. Yeah. Like if you make this, you sit here. I don't think so. It's really thin. It's too thin. Yeah. But you do have this. Like, this is going to save you. Yeah. You also might not. I like hitting this one. Okay. Yeah, this is the, the benefit of being up five to two. Just whack this out. Make sure you don't jam at the back. And then, uh, you know, and then, and then Corin Brown has to make a, a really Can good shot. There? 15 and change there. Take like three and We don't have to bit. stick. I yeah, don't the curling equivalent of passing the buck. Mm -hmm. We'll force you to do better than yeah. us. Nine. Throw a foot last thing. Last thing. Casey Scheidegger now here in the eighth. Clean! Clean! Yep! Clean! 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 Good throw. Now that rock will heal and hit and roll out of play. So now Corinne's going to play the freeze on top of her own. She's not trying to get shot on this rock. She realizes freeze that she again, has a it? perfect dead-on freeze yeah. right on the nose. The 15 and change? Scheidegger will not be able to get both of those that. rocks out. I actually like freezing in the um, if Scheidegger would choose to guard that so Corinne couldn't get out there, yeah, there's, there's a little skinny double that... Yeah. Uh, Curran could throw and be lie three, so. And with the setup shot in mind, Corinne Brown here with her first in the eighth. Yeah, perfect freeze is what she's on here. I could, uh, perfectly frozen on the nose is what she's after. And that certainly would change the complexion of the end. Weight looks good. Looks a little wide. Yeah, sweepers is Rooms up for a good portion oh, of that. And it's too bad. She had good weight. She'll be past the pile and will tuck uh, just a little corner underneath yeah. that redstone in the forefoot. It's like half again. Sorry, yeah. Now there's an angle double here. Yeah. Yep. Casey can just uh, rifle one down here and uh, double them both off. And the way they're lined up here, this, this red rock at the yep. back of the 12 is not going to be a factor because... Uh, yeah. The the rock that Casey's going to hit is going to go above this uh, rock at the back of the 12 foot here, or outside the 12 foot. Just knows that one. Indeed, a double potential here for Casey Scheidegger with her final stone in the eighth. that rock a little thick and uh, won't spill them both. Sorry, just a little tight on you, Kara. Okay, 
Anderson, Anderson is. is part of that one. Oh, sorry, Scheidegger is first and second shot for now. Just nine to five. Do you like that ace? This is a tough yeah, double to hit and stay, especially to stay. I got that little back. It's there. It is there. We hit it high. We were okay. Nine five here. Just, just a little too, bit on the high side, right? Just a little bit on the high side. Not just too much room high. for error. Yeah, too much weight and you'll roll out. Hit too thin, you'll roll out. Hit too close to nose, it's a steal of one. Corinne Brown with her final stone in the eighth. Whoa, nope. Great shot. Does that rock will spill out of the back? It'll be a two. The weight was so key there. Just check that. Absolutely. Because if you throw any more weight than that, the, your shooter's going to roll out. Two for sure. They're looking at this back one here, and they all think it's out, but they're going to measure it just in case John Wall was having a bad day <laughs> when he painted the rings. Hope Always John, good. I hope, I hope John's not listening. He said he'd bring me a coffee if I... If I <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get that coffee anymore there, Brian. So. That's all right. John's a nice guy. I'm sure he'll find a way. Mm -hmm. And so due diligence will reign supreme here as we will pull out the six-foot stick and see if the rings are accurate. Great shot by Corrin there. It's, uh, you know, they're right back in the game, 5-4. It's a momentum swing. You see the girls are all at the hog line there. They're all smiling again. And Shy Digger's team is a little more concern in their faces. It's a... Uh, it's a real swing. Indeed. Is that rock? Too red. Will not be on. So John Wall. Two guards. With excellent rings. No coffee. <laughs> but Corin Brown scores two and eight. To make the score five to four. Still for Casey Scheidegger. Let me thank you for tuning in to this women's trial direct entry event broadcast here on youtube.com slash curling Canada and if you'd like to see more broadcasts we'll be going live once again at 5 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern as well as Sunday so if you want live notifications of uh, when those broadcasts are gonna go live you can subscribe to the channel by pressing the big red button underneath your video player and if you hit the bell you'll receive notifications pushed to your tablet mobile device or PC desktop Samantha Fisher now will get us started in the ninth. And that's the first Mine's deuce good. that Corin Brown has been able to, to muster up here in this game. So a big time to score. Starting to go. Well, she had a big come from behind win against the uh, PEI girls. So they've got that in their memory bank. Never give up. You never give up, especially in a 10 end game. Christy Moore with her first. Back eight. Hey, clean. Hey. Clean. Back 12, back eight. Whoa, whoa, close. Close. Yep. Close. Yes. Straight. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Whoa. Real, real nice shot. Yeah, an excellent tick yeah, there. Careful, careful. Go. Spill Three the red rock eight. off, and uh, the shooter is firing off it. Far enough out into the 12 foot. Sorry, I was thinking, leaving it for now, sorry. When your lead can do that, you know, as a skip, you're just sitting back Good thinking, girl, okay, bad. now the end's going to be a whole lot less I'm stressful. About a corner, I don't know. It's not over yet, but, uh, you know, the steal of one would be the worst case scenario at this point, you're thinking, and you still might get a chance Mine's to score two or three it. and put the game away. Certainly is the case. And you'll see those uh, rocks. Come into play later in the end, too, uh, especially that yellow shooter that was just thrown. Uh, an in-off candidate there. It's going to change the game if, they, uh, if the world curling roll comes in and where you, people aren't going to be allowed to tick the uh, guard, guards off the center line. Yeah, certainly a uh, sweeping rule proposition and changes. No, straight! There at the world curling level. 
I think I heard you and Al uh, oh, talking about it and opining on it there in the last <laughs> broadcast. Really nice. As Christy Moore makes back-to-back -back ticks. Yeah. My really goodness. Nice. That is fantastic stuff. Are there stuff. anyone around right now? If you're a lead at home, get your notepad out. Good <laughs> On cue. On cue. John, I'm good. Thanks, sir. John Wall comes in with the coffee. Thanks, John. <laughs> so John was listening. <laughs> That's a, that's a nice looking cup of coffee there for Brian Cochran. 2019 senior world champion and two time Briar participant. Aaron's close all day. In 2003 and 2020. Brian knows curling. Really got a curl. One of my real thrills at the Briar was coaching uh, Mark Keane's team with Matt Above Cam team. and David Mathers and Scott Howard. That yep, was, yep, 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 that yep, was yep. also a whole lot of fun, I have to admit. I was in Calgary. Yeah, Come certainly high-caliber players there in uh, in that. Eleven. Is the Keen Rink represented Ontario quite well? I believe it was all of their first Briars. Yep. Yes, it was, I believe, and uh, they had fun. Hey, if you're not having fun, then uh, you got to reevaluate how you're approaching the game. Yep. Action proceeding Ford! to the ninth. Ford! Ford go! Ford! Ford! Oh, oh. Ooh, wow. that rocket that just by, by the guard. Skinnied. An excellent throw there. Yeah, so Brown's gonna, going to play this end here to, uh, you know, she's the, the corner guard's up because of the tick shots, the excellent tick shots. And so now she's just going to try to Hit and roll under these guards and force Scheidegger to uh, take one. Which will leave Brown with Hammer uh, coming home and she'll hope to Whoa. score two or three. No. Three for the win. No. Yep, roll that way. Oh, no. Desiree Haas. Watch the roll, Aaron. Watch it. We'll hit and roll big. Will it stick around? Fine, fine. Indeed it will not. Work Remains in play, but out of the scoring area. Our plan was to go around. It would hit. And that will give it? Casey Scheidegger a free look at a draw around the corners here. Yeah, the unfortunate part there for the Brown team, they really, at this point, they have to make sure all their rocks stick around to put the extra pressure on Scheidegger. And to hit and roll out there is criminal. Nice shot coming Coffee. here. Line's perfect. Line's perfect. Plenty of room Coffee. by the guard. Kind of girl, Jess. Beauty, thanks, sweet. Now we'll nestle into the eighth foot. Yeah, I don't think it. There's, there's no choice here for Corinne. Now she's had, she has to come in there. And they, now they have to make a really nice shot. Now the way yeah, this weight has good. to be perfect. Yeah, if you're a little heavy and wick off, it would be disaster. A little light and you're not shot. This looks nice early. Yes. Sweeper's brooms up. I'm watching this one curl. This should be past yours. As it looks to be hitting it thin. Wow, it's it'll roll it's off open. Yours, Just a foot it's heavy. Yeah. yeah, roll away. Unfortunately, not much tolerance there on that shot. No, that's that's the hard part about the shot that was missed before. They had some tolerance, you know, just a little bit could be back eight, back twelve, but you couldn't you couldn't roll out. So now now they're into this situation. Clean, clean, yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, Chris, hard Chris, hard Chris. Shy Digger's trying to roll to the center or roll okay, out, I guess. Sorry, Kerr. Yeah, they were just trying to roll over to the edge of the forefoot, which would have would have brought the play there eventually. But now this gives Corinne another chance to freeze in here to this yellow rock. And if she does, then uh, you know the pressure's back on Scheidegger, probably gonna be forced to one. 
Well summarized by Brian Cochran as Aaron Pincock. I can guarantee you if you're in Shy Digger's shoes right now, you don't no, want to be forced to run. No You'd like to get two or blank. But. No balance, run! It's got to curl! Shoot. It's got to okay. sit. Moving on. Not beside it, Des. Not beside it, Des. Okay, yep, go then, yep. Looking pretty good. Okay. And settles in there at the top of the eight foot. It's just a, a hair short of being shot, but it's still a problem for the shy digger. She's going to have to deal with it. Even? Yeah, you can't ignore enough. that one. Do you so. like just doing this? Sure. Okay. Okay, it should be nice to this side too. Okay, so she decided to come to the other side of the sheet, which is fine. Uh, but she'll want to stay, you know, maybe uh, uh, touching the edge of the forefoot uh, at the T line because she. Because if Brown is going to tap up that last red one, um, Schreidegger will still want to be shot with this one. Gotta be T, guys. Sweep for T. And so hey, rock management in. now. Uh, we want to be T. Go for T. Very important. Line's Hard. really nice. Full eight. Hard. Full eight. Go, go guys. Go. Full eight, trust five. in the sweepers go, to go. make sure that this go, rock go, is placed go, in the go, correct go. spot. Deeper, 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 go! A little deeper, a little deeper. Yep, 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 yep. Good. That's a real nice shot. Yeah, that'll pull up uh, almost level with existing Yellowstone. They would have liked it touching the forefoot there, I think, because like now, like as I said... Half rock? Yeah. Well, they can go after it with the... When they're talking about the double, or they could tap. Okay, uh, two thirds I think they could tap straight back and be shot. And they can certainly see enough of that stone that to tap it straight back. Yeah. Like yeah, ice? they're playing the double here, which. Sure. Do you like that ice, though? Still for nine and a half. I don't know. You just, you just can't afford to, to roll out and miss the shot. And I think with the quieter weight at this point, a little safer, but. Uh, nine and a half. But on the other hand, she's just trying to force her to one, so. You're not making the double, or just kind of Whatever she over sees. There. Indeed, as Corin Brown settles into the hack here. I mean, at this point, there's very little pressure on Scheidegger in the sense that the whole forefoot's open for a draw for one. So it's a good feeling. Yeah, certainly a clear path to a draw single should she need it. As Corin Brown delivers here in the ninth. Nope. This rock is hanging. Let me thin across the top, but miss the yellow stone. Oh, that's what I don't like about that judge. shot. It's just, yeah. even just right beside percentages it are tape. so much yeah. lower. Now this gives Scheidegger a chance to freeze in there, corner freeze on that for second shot, and Brown's in huge trouble. Scheidegger with hey, hammer here in the nice ninth. Here, hey? Okay. Looking to brew up Just a multiple score. That red one is perfect. So full I don't know who taught Casey okay, yeah, Scheidegger how to curl, but okay, well, we're fine, I, we're I just, fine. I, I think her delivery is beautiful. That tuck delivery is awesome. Consistent. Looks a little heavy here. Yeah, it'll slip just Ooh. a little deep. That's a big okay. unfortunate miss for Scheidegger. As Red will still be second shot. And Corin Brown will be presented with an opportunity to remove this yellow stone and sit too. Big opportunity there. And this should be more than certain enough to force Casey Scheidegger here in the ninth, should she make this open hit and stick around. Trick them too, they thought it was just top four. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can hear the Shy Digger team talking about how quick the ice is in that in that pass. Being fooled by it just a little bit. Corin Brand now here in the ninth. Just needs to hit this on the nose. B shot one and two. This rock's there. hanging a little bit. Because it'll catch the outside and roll too far. Wow. I think, uh, yeah, Shadig is still forced to one. Uh, yeah, I don't see a way you can uh, access that redstone. It's no. overburied. And so the force will remain. But, you know, it's. She would still be doing the same shot, probably. If she would have, if uh, Brown would have stayed for second shot, there's just that little added pressure on Shy Digger on this draw. Here, you know, the pressure. I mean, she wants to make the shot, probably going to make the shot. But if she was looking at two, there's just a there's a difference. Let's just leave it at that. There's a difference. Yeah, and even though the shot is the exact same, there's a palpable difference in the way you approach it. Final stone here in nine. Casey Scheidegger looking to draw for one. Hanging, hanging, hanging. See, there it goes, a little hanging, hanging. There's a gentle clean. As this rock will settle yeah. on the tee line. Yeah, score Very for nice. one. One. So Sh Casey Scheidegger will get her single here in ninth with the hammer. But, you know, the Brown team has to be happy. They've, they've fought through this whole game and... Here they go. They're they're down two with Hammer playing ten, and they know they can score multiples. They've they've had chances this game. Indeed, a six-four score. Casey Scheidegger currently leading BC's Corin Brown. Brown with Hammer and ten, and this is shaping up to be one heck of a finish. As a deuce would tie this. A reminder, if you want more details about this event, including rosters, lineups, and results, you can go to curling.ca slash scoreboard. And if you'd like those results in French, you can go to curling.ca slash résultat. So Team Scheidegger will get us rolling here in the 10th, up to without. That's a pretty good French accent you have, Andrew. I speak excellent French, thank you. Yeah, good. Yep. We don't have a French broadcast here today, unfortunately, but uh, maybe in the future. Line's good. I like it. Line's good. Kind of want to go here. Christy Moore leading Line's us good. off. Okay, so there it goes. Easy, easy. Same thing here. Top four foots the easy. plan. Good. Really good, Chris. Guards for the Brown team. Yep, getting the end set up. Those ever important lead stones. As you said, Andrews, big Fire game for girls. the Digger team. Indeed, as uh, they win, they're in. Yes, our Curling Canada nerd math team has crunched the numbers and determined that with a victory here on sheet D, Casey Scheidegger would Great qualify speed, really good. for the Tim Great Hortons speed. trials in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. That would give them a three and one record. Have a real battle going on in sheet E there. Indeed, that's uh, three, two, three. Suzanne Bird and Easy. Kelsey Rock. Looks like Burke leads okay. Rock 5-4 to four right now. Two, three. And uh, that game also yeah. having implications in our playoff picture. Should there be one. These, yep. Uh, yep. these teams will cool. return to the ice at 9 p.m. All except for okay. Casey Scheidegger, okay. who is done okay. after this game. He's played all four matches. So in this case... Uh, you know, we've seen Scheidegger bring two rocks in the house when she had a had a, a lead, and but now, now she realizes that uh, Brown can score at you know at least a two for the tie. So, so now Scheidegger throws a center guard, a tight center guard, mind you. So 
Brown will have to Where deal with that. that. Um, and uh, the guard was thrown yeah, perfectly. So Shawdigger will play a little more aggressively here and hope to steal this end so there's no extra oh. end or. Now throwing a double guard, so uh, the game is on. Indeed, feeling good with that rock, uh, fighting the top of the button. The, you know, the scary, sorry, Andrew. No, no. The, the scary part, I always find the scary part is, okay, now you're throwing the double guard. If Brown decides to, you know, come in here and corner freeze, you've got these two these two red guards out on the, on the wings here. You can always throw back in for two or three. It's like... Sometimes I really hate the five rock rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well. Certainly changes things up quite a bit. Yep, yep, yep. Hard, 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 hard. Yeah, this rock will okay. slip deep and uh, end up waking off the original guard. Yeah, they swept it there like so they, the double wouldn't be as easy. If they would have left that uh, frozen on, they, they could, uh, the brown team could double them off easily and keep another but red one there. High, but high. now this one, this one, it's going to, if they if they hit this double out, uh, the shooter will also go. Whereas if the Shy Digger team had have left that frozen on top, they could just hit it and roll yeah, over really as another go. guard. Whoa. Whoa. Yep, yep. Certainly some fine inter intricacies here at play. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, then, whoa, then, whoa, then, whoa, then, whoa. Sorry, I didn't realize it was out. Yeah, the nice double shot. field is made. Yeah, nice shot. And it spills the shooter. Do you like the guard or peeling that? It was a bad line call. It was, well, it was fine. Peel, I think. Yeah. That's the only way they're getting three is by keeping guards in play. Peel. So, yeah. The so double there. Interesting. Okay. The only way they can get three, they said, is if you ignore the guards. But that means they're willing to give up two and go to the extra Whoa. end. Nice shot. Free and easy peel there for Jesse Hagen. I think some teams there would have taken on. I'm a bit surprised because uh, the Shy Digger team can throw uh, nice peel weight. And they, I'm surprised they didn't go for the double. I know she mentioned it in the hack, but uh, Skip had nothing to do with it. Yeah, a little bit of danger uh, going for that double peel as well if you're running, slashing the red across the center line. Not sure if that was there with the shooter, if you can get the double with the shooter or not. But yeah, no, I'm not sure either, but it was certainly worth contemplating. Might be through. There's another rock flying down this path here. Hard pace, hard. Certainly is spicy down the center part of the sheet as wow. that rock will slip all the way through. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, mm -hmm. another unforced error for Three Tim Foran Brown. So now Shaw Dagger can just peel away yeah. here. Huge, huge break there. Yeah, you have to feel good about Casey Scheidegger's chances now. Whoa, clean, clean, clean. Now yep. the sweepers will tend to this stone. A yep, little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Another free and easy peel. And that's, you know, we go back to, uh, you know, Casey said, should we throw the guard or should we peel? And her team talked her into peel. And hey, it looks, it looks good. It looks like the right decision in the sense of, when you make that decision, yes, they're, they're willing to give up two, but the other team has to make every shot and make it good enough that they, they're going to score two and see what happens. Thanks. Now the game's basically over if all the shots are made from here on in. Mine's good. Indeed, it does take two to tango. You can try it by yourself, but you might look odd. I'm not going to comment on that, Andrew. <laughs> hey, Soren. Well, you've never seen me dance, have you, Brian? <laughs> no. No. No, thanks. <laughs> the corner guard goes up, and uh, the automatic broom goes down in order to remove it. Yeah, and the ice is great here, too. It's uh, really predictable. It's uh, throw, it, throw it clean. And Hard jazz. Hard jazz. Hard yeah, throw it clean, hard, and you will get good results. As they're sweeping to make this okay, one curl, and it'll flash on the inside. Just as I say, it's easy. It's not easy. And so a misstep there for 
Carrie Ann McTaggart. We'll certainly be happy to forget about that one. Do need a short memory to be a good curler, eh, Brian? Absolutely. I wish I would have learned that a lot many years ago. It's uh, one of the harder lessons. Lots of room. Sam is close. Oh, the all tune's day. back in play here again. Nice draw. Come around. Weight looks good in this one. Not curling very much, though. It's. Hey, we're gonna have to, yep, 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 oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Sam, you gotta go. You gotta bury you gotta it, go, Sam. You gotta, yeah. you gotta go. You gotta hung out Sam, there for a go while. Hard. As that'll stop in the no back eight foot. Certainly is it is exposed. So you just heard them talking. Do you do you want to flop to center or you want to roll out? And if you flop to center, then it takes away the uh, the draw around the guard basically because the draw around the guard would be third shot. Okay, eleven. You could still do it, but then uh, it gets a whole lot tougher to score too that way. You certainly have to be careful where, where you're going to roll that shooter. You don't want to leave a, a juicy opportunity to create a pocket or create something to freeze to. I always say, let's hit it first. <laughs> One thing at a time, right? I think we can have a little laugh. Yeah. Casey Shy there. Well, well, well. Oh, clean! Clean! Close! Well, Jess, Jess, Jess! Jess! They're clean! sweeping to make this one curl. Watch your roll. That will roll big. Okay. Aaron Pincott okay. looking to remove that from the rings, but it it's will stick off. around in the back 12. Time out! Timeout I'm call. 10-4. Okay. Good call on taking less. I yeah. 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 I think it should be close, though. They thought, like, this max. We'll, I'm like, we'll yeah, learn on probably this max. So no discussion required. Taking I, the timeout just to preserve the clock. We're, we're yeah, slow Yeah, I learners. was a little full, but I was, I was still up, so. I, I like this ice. Because that shouldn't have rolled that far. And no reason not to. They give you the timeouts. You may as well use them. Sorry, Andrew, did you see the call here? I, 15 and change. I uh, think it's uh, still the draw around the corner guard here. Yeah, they're talking about the, the weight 15 and change, so that's Correct. pretty fast ice. Yeah, that is quick. So I'll just bury this in there for second shot, and uh, top eight is the... No. If you, you don't want to go deep here because that, that would leave Casey a chance to draw back and freeze to it. Erin Brown with her first stone here in the 10th. Yeah, we can. I'll, we'll see. Okay, we can also Tick off, Erin! It doesn't look it's like double. it's going to get there. Takes a long time, but once it goes... Yeah, it doesn't love crossing that center line too quick. Now they have to take it back far because they're trying to get it buried as much as possible. Indeed, as that'll stop uh, biting the back 12. So it is buried. Indicating it's about half open. Is that 11 again? Yeah, perhaps the camera playing a few tricks here. Right the there. monitor in the booth. Oh, okay. Maybe a third open. Do you want to just freeze tap it? Uh, uh, I just no, need, okay, if I let's freeze. Let's remove it. Yeah? If I freeze on you it. Don't, you, okay. you said you only got a sliver? Can I? Do you like the tap? Time out. Another timeout called here on sheet D. Skip's got to throw what she, what she likes here. Certainly worth the discussion. Yeah. The third can't be talking into, talking her into saying lots of room, lots okay, of room. The freeze is good too, though. She didn't Skip wants to no, throw I the like freeze. I like coming in at it. I like throw either freezing on it or trying to tap it. So she had lots of room by the guard. So I think like a So Coach Joe McCusker will no come problem. out. What do you think? My first thought was to tap this. Certainly okay. a wealth of knowledge like in curling. It. And their coach. The said to the I skip, what do you like? And the skip it. said, I like Maybe just tapping it. The coach that said, yeah, that's what I like. Whatever you like, skipper. 
And it's almost always the right answer. Yeah. Whatever you like, Skipper. Yeah. Just call a timeout again, Des. Thirty-five seconds on the time clock here, so it's not a panic, but certainly using uh, all the time allocated to them. Yeah. Yep. Casey Scheidegger's final stone here in the tenth. Lots of time, Please. six seconds to yeah, spare. Hard. Just wow. by that guard. Uh, a little tap. Good job. And awesome. remove the red stones from play. Big shot. Indeed. <laughs> and that will do it. That was great for the Scheidegger team. Casey Scheidegger and her rink are now qualified for the Tim Hortons Olympic Trials in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, securing that berth with a win here over Corin Brown. Final score of six to four. And uh, got to feel good about Casey Scheidegger's chances in Saskatoon. They had a great showing in 2017 in the Ottawa Olympic qualifiers. And uh, certainly an emotional bunch as they're uh, extremely happy with that result. Oh, and they should be. You know, they, they played they played pretty well. They, they, both teams had a little trouble with the speed of the ice or, uh, during the latter half of the game, but uh, it was a well-curled game. Truly an excellent matchup that we were treated to here on Sheet D, live from Ottawa, Ontario, the RA Centre. This was Women's Trials Direct Entry Event Action. We'll be back this afternoon at 5 p.m. to bring you more live curling. And uh, Brian, thanks again for taking the time to be in the booth. It was excellent to catch up and uh, learn from your wisdom and knowledge, and uh, we will hope to talk to you soon. Well, thanks, Andrew. I, I've enjoyed uh, I've enjoyed being being here and. Uh, Seeing you again and chatting, chatting with you again, I, I've uh, enjoyed it a lot. Thanks. For now, we'll be back at 5 p.m. And uh, for the time being, take care of yourselves and signing off. Have a good day. Your tickets now at curling.ca.